Hello, I'm Imbusyong. Today I will discuss the strategy to counter a new meta which is called Discard Box. This meta is very durable and discard a lot of cards. Why this card is very important? You need good cards to attack. So you cannot attack with like shield cards, right? Like with a sponge. Imagine you want to kill a plant and all you've got is tail slap, a sponge, and um serious. That's why this card is annoying to deal with. So the strategy is to either attack with the important cards, so they they cannot discard your important cards, or pass to reduce the probability of discard the important cards. For example, like you have um, some cards on the plan and some cards on the aqua, and you can pass to to hope that they only discard the the plant card because you don't really need to attack with the plant card. Aqua cards is more important in countering the discard bug. So let's jump to some of my replays. So here we are fighting a double buck and an aqua. Each of them has two discards, Sunderclaw and a third glance. So in five rounds they can remove eight cards from me. And they are also very durable. This is why they are meta. Like look at this, they have a sticky goo and um and a stick bait. So they are just very tanky, although they look very weak, but no. They are very tanky. And finally we have this Aqua. It has good energy gain. Of course, as a backliner you want um 1-0 cost, so this is perfect. And it has a sugar rush. And this card is insane. Like it gets a 20% bonus damage from two bucks. <laughs> so the strategy here. You can either attack in the first round or pass and this card is actually good to attack because the mid laner will attack with one with one card and probably it gets stunned and then the back laner can continue the attack with two damage card um, but you can also pass why did you want to pass because um, probably the enemy would put like um Anesthetic bait and third lamps and sticky goo or something like that to shield the the front. So basically, your attack only um, reduce their their HP by a bit. That's what I am assuming. And there is one more thing: you never try to steal energy from them. You never want to steal energy, like especially in the first round. You do not try to energy steal this kind of enemy. Once they have a third glance, usually they will spam it. But I mean, like majority of players will spam like bunch of discard, like Sunderclaw, a third glance, you know. So never try to steal. So let's go to the risk this replay. If I know they are going to do this, I will attack, of course. But who the fuck would know this would happen? I thought um. The front laner will put a bunch of shield, but apparently this guy doesn't have cards to put shield. And you see, my backliner has four cards, but I decide not to attack. Why? Because it doesn't have a zero cost to remove the stun, so I would lose one precious card to remove the stun. So this is why I opt to pass. And even if they have this card, that's okay because I have three plant cards, so probably they will discard my plant cards instead of my aquatic cards. So you want to spread the cards and let them discard randomly. Unfortunately, they got my aquatic cards. To be honest, I would prefer if they discard my plant cards. Not this one, but my plant card because Plant cards are not so useful in this kind of game. You want to attack and plan is for defensive stuff. And 
you want to play aggressive here you want to to kill the box immediately not like i mean like as fast as possible <laughs> but uh, you want to kill them efficiently so this is a perfect setup first i attack with my mid laner then he got stunned then my back laner continues to attack <laughs> well this this has a drawback, I mean this tactic has a drawback, like what if the enemy put um, fish neck and a sticky goo? The best choice is actually use a damage card and tail slap then damage card, then some back laner. But fortunately this enemy does not choose um, sticky goo and a uh, fish neck at the same time. So you can get stunned twice, first is for attacking the the fish knight. Then secondly, you get stunned again because you break the shield of the sticky goo. So, of course, the enemy front laner is very durable because of that reason. And here, this is a bit unfortunate because my back laner attacks first, right? So I would have to sacrifice one card to to remove the stun. So probably you don't want to use a speed plus to kill the front laner because of this reason. And why did I choose the revenge arrow at the middle? It's for removing the stun. It deals the least damage compared to this card and the hero's pain. Even though I cannot kill, this is still a good decision because um, this enemy cannot remove cards like basically I have to use all of them you want to empty the cards by yourself not the empty not the enemy emptying your cards then this kind of enemy like look at this um, 89 HP right it's very low but this kind of enemy will try their best to shield the buck. Uh, like most of the time, they will shield the buck because they are confident that they have high shield. Like they can play something like an aesthetic bait and then a buck splat and the third guns. Can you imagine like how many shields they can put and do some great counter attacks? And here, this is a very good setup. First, I deal damage, then remove the stun, then deals another damage to the buck. And when you are at this stage, this is pretty much a textbook. So an aqua usually can survive a full combo attack from another aqua, given that their shield is like um, 100 from here. Not the total shield, but like skill guard is 30, then you put a total of 100. They would usually survive like a mediocre damage like this. Um, so here, I just put one card just to reduce their HP a bit. Then next round, I will attack with four cards. And fortunately, this Aqua does not have um, speed plus. So it does not have a speed advantage, it does not have a swift escape. Also does not have a Koi or upstream. So this is a very good decision. Yep, look at this damage, it's like 134 with a buck card, it's a classic advantage. Yep, so this enemy is very annoying, it has a plant with a yam. So you get poisoned if you attack and then they get this card and this shrimp nature is a bit funny because why would you want a third glance on um, shrimp nature you need damage not that is not um, some mediocre damage 
and this bug is just simply so annoying like it can heal and it can shield so with this kind of cards of course I choose to attack because I have how many precious cards? 5 this is precious this is precious very useful especially the revenge arrow is like very useful I cannot afford to lose the revenge arrow and the hero's made and this October Street is not so useful in this game, it's not that useful because their tactic is just keep discarding and their damage is not that high. So they have more utility rather than raw power. So this is good that they um, discard my October Shield. Here, it's an easy decision, this is no-brainer move, like, I'm so afraid that they will discard my useful card, so of course I want to attack. This is, this is easy decision to make. You have a revenge arrow, you spam it, you spam to the plant class, not to the aqua. Well, I was a bit afraid that the plant will use um, third glance or parasite, but Fortunately, this guy used an energy steal. This is nice. So here, I I attack with aquatic cards. Although I have plant card, but I just decide to attack with three cards. Why? Because I just don't want them to discard my aquatic cards. It's for damage, and um, they don't really have much energy. So why not I keep spamming um, cards so they cannot remove any of my important cards so here I was a bit surprised that they do nothing if I know this would happen I would of course pass but this is a cha safe choice you know and this is quite good um, again I am afraid of the discard and you see I have a damage card of course I would spam it and my plant is quite lucky like uh, it can get energy and tank damage so by next round I would have 4 energy this is what I meant with uh, the Shimnator is not that good because it's lacking of damage to kill my backliner even the crit um, cannot save him even the crit cannot save this guy because like the damage is just crap then, see, uh, the enemy discard for nothing, and then I got some cards from the October Shield. This is quite a bonus. Here again, I'm afraid of um, this card, so I just spam again. I mean, it's pretty good that attack will connect to the next target, right? Then, this is a bit tough here because the block can heal, but. Um, the game is not that hard because I still have 3 axes. So here, I shouldn't try to use the plant card here, to be honest. I thought um, it's not a big deal because um, I still disabled the Sunder Claw, but trying to energy steal at this kind of situation is just not so good. Why would this guy try to pass? Then one versus one with this kind of axe is probably very annoying because all of the cards just go to him and then he keep having cards next round. See, imagine if I don't play the plant cards. I mean, imagine if I don't play the vag the energy steel. Maybe the spicy surprise is okay. See, it probably can steal my can discard my energy steal instead of my other aquatic cards. And here, why did I choose to pass? Even though I know the enemy steel can discard two cards, because probably one of one of the damage cards still survives, you know. And then um, I have four cards. Then he removed two cards. So next round I'll have five cards. And with five cards, I have a good chance of destroying the buck. So why not this card?
Yep, and then this is just very good. I mean, it's a very good attacking combination. The first I attack with the mid laner, and then um, the back laner continues attack. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, um, I am the Aqua, so this defeated because um, it's just a replay. So actually, I win this game. Again, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching.